Hey guys, it's Arely, and today we're gonna be playing The Sims 4. Specifically, we're gonna be exploring the Discover University pack, and you might be asking, well, why is she doing this? If you haven't noticed, we are in the middle of a global pandemic. A lot of people aren't going to college, or when you actually end up going to college, or just going back to school in general, if you're still in high school or whatever you are in, it's gonna be a weird time. It's gonna be a weird experience. So I decided, you know what? Why not play The Sims and live out the college experience I've always wanted? And that's where we find ourselves today. I hope you guys enjoy this and just have a good time with me. Come on, let's go. So I started off my modest journey by choosing a nice, small suburban house to live in. Mm -hmm. And then I clicked on the mailbox and I applied to college. I also made sure to apply for some scholarships because as we know, the college industry is out for our money. And we need those scholarships if we want to afford this. I chose to apply to all my options because looking at my household funds, I really needed this if I was going to afford a college degree. In addition, I invested in a laptop for my sim because I would need one to keep track of my college admissions and to see what scholarships I would get accepted for. And you know, because it's The Sims, a group of people showed up outside of my house in order to throw me a house welcoming party. And all that ended up doing was making my sim upset because they hated the fruitcake this one lady brought. And on top of that, all these people just walked in, made a mess everywhere, leaving their plates all over the ground for me to clean up, which also annoyed my sim. And of course, as soon as that group of people left my house, a vampire showed up on my doorstep. And funny enough, after two days of being approached by the random people that live on my block, I finally got my acceptance letters. And surprise there, I got accepted everywhere. I decided to go to Foxbury Institute because they offered fine arts as a major, and honestly, that's probably the closest option The Sims has to my actual major in real life. So that's what I went with. From there, I chose how many classes I would take, my schedule, and I decided on housing. Along with making the choice to pay everything out of pocket because I am terrified of loans. And that's when my college freshman year finally began. So I got there around 3.15 p.m. and the first thing I did was choose out my bed and my dorm and then I got busy and straight down to doing homework. And I don't know what I was thinking but I decided to do all of my homework in one night upon just getting there. And obviously, I ended up doing my homework until 5 a.m. in the morning. And that is where I learned that that was the biggest mistake. Because I had a class in two hours and was running on zero sleep. And obviously, I'm insane because then I proceeded to go to sleep at 6.15 a.m. in the morning. Which obviously led to me getting late to class on the first day. It's literally day one. There's trash everywhere. I'm struggling to eat, struggling to sleep properly. I have to pee and I haven't showered in who knows how long. But my roommates were just as bad because all they did was leave trash and spoiled food all over the house. After a week of struggling to manage my grades, workload, and take care of myself, I was extremely tense. And you know, it was a Friday evening, so I decided to go out to the Spice Festival with some random acquaintances and just enjoy myself. At the festival, my group decided to watch a bald man play his guitar, and my sim decided to buy a drink to relieve some of their stress which came at a price I did not expect. While speaking to a lady with no eyebrows, I witnessed a man steal the drink I paid for, which I then obviously stole back, 
only to end up getting sick from it because it was alcohol made for vampires. For the rest of the night, I just tried to enjoy some samples of food and then I just went home because what a day, what a day. So fast forward, my roommates are literally the worst. There's spoiled food everywhere. Somehow both the sinks are broken, yet no one's trying to fix it other than mop up the mess that's going to keep being made. I just got fed up and I decided to clean everything and just repair everything. Over the weekend, there was also a school spirit event and I tried to go to that, but I ended up showing up too late. So I started conversing with the mascot only for things to become quite hostile because I realized that um, the mascot is the spawn of Satan. On Sunday, I decided to catch up on all my homework and that's when I realized that there were only three days left of freshman year. So I decided to do a little bit more socializing and went to the robotics fair. That's when I met the love of my life, Glitch Cyber the Robot. So you know, I started off by, you know, trying to become friends and then I flirted with him in which only led me to embarrassing myself because he did not feel the same way. So I got a falafel to eat away my sorrows and then I decided to just talk to Glitch and just speak with him as a friend and just see where things go from there. That night I went home to study for finals and finish up on some work and guess who shows up at my doorstep? None other than the love of my life. And because it was destiny, on the day before finals and on the day I had to write my term paper, I decided to speak with this robot man until 4 a.m. because I was that desperate. But in the end, it was worth it because he was totally digging me. The next day, I went to class entirely sleep deprived. After class, I then decided to practice my presentation. And fast forward to that night, I ended up having to do my term paper four hours before it was due on the day of. So I swallowed my pride, turned in the poorly written paper, and made my way to class. Then I went to my last class of the term, gave my final presentation, and freshman year was finally over. When I went home, I was extremely uncomfortable and got a call out of nowhere from guess who? And he asked me out on a date to a retail store. I mean, how could I say no? Oh, but of course, nothing can ever go my way because Glitch was glitching the glitch out the entire day. I don't know what was going on with him, his circuits were all over the place, and I could literally just never talk to him. So I literally ended up talking to every single person in that store other than my date. Just my luck. Wow. And then out of nowhere, I ended up getting my final report card. An A in painting one, an A plus in digital painting with virtual brushes, a B minus in violin through the ages, and then a C minus in string theory with a GPA of a B plus. Not bad for my first year where I literally had no idea what I was doing. And then the game has me sign up for next year's classes while I am still on this date with a broken robot. So I chose four classes and I just went with it. And that officially marks the end of my freshman year. So here, just enjoy Glitch doing his thing. I'm not gonna lie, my character was struggling. She was barely sleeping or eating. All of her roommates were complete morons. I dated a robot, but he had problems of his own. And this was a very interesting college experience. If you guys want to see more videos like this, or if you guys want me to continue this series, please tell me in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video. Subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much. Have a great day and goodbye. <laughs>